the bell icon to turn on notifications. Hi everyone and welcome back to our Gmail training. In this lesson, we're going to talk about a feature that is better than folders. They're called labels. Yes. Now labels are special to Gmail. Think of them like you would a label on a piece of paper. You can add multiple labels, right? You can also have different colors and different types of these labels. There is an additional hack that you can use with Gmail labels and we're going to get to that here shortly. As with other things in Gmail, there is more than one way to create a label. Since we've been looking at our different settings, let's go there first. So up in the top right corner, click on the settings gear and then click on see all settings. Now, remember, we've already worked our way through the general tab and we've looked at the inbox tab. So let's navigate to the labels tab. First, you'll notice a couple of things. You already have a set of system labels and a set of categories, and you have a couple of options here, such as to show those or hide those. Scroll to the bottom and you will find a section that says labels, along with a button that says create new label. From this screen, when creating a new label, you can give your label a name and you do have the option to nest labels under other labels. So for example, if you have a set of labels that could all fit under the label IT, you could do that instead of having them all separated out into a longer list of labels. A little pro tip for you, use numbers in the name of your labels. These labels will be listed in alphabetical order, so using numbers allows you to identify the order in which you want your labels listed, which is a really cool trick, right? Now let's take a look at some of these settings that we have here. First up, you do have the ability to show or hide your labels. One of my favorite buttons to use is the show if unread, which means when I log into my email, a lot of my labels are actually hidden. They only become visible if I have a brand new email that is unread that has that label applied. Now, how is that possible for a label to be applied if I haven't read the email yet? The answer, filters. Now we're going to cover that in our next lesson. And that is why it's really important for us to have our labels set up now. Because combining labels and filters is where the true magic comes in. Okay, so let's go back out to our email. And over on the left, you will see your list of labels. Notice there is a plus button to create labels from here. And when you hover over label, you will see the three dot menu. And if you click on that, you will see a lot of the exact same things that we just saw in our Gmail settings. One important feature to use is the ability to color your labels. Why? Who cares? Because we are going to combine this with filters to automatically apply labels before you even see that email. We're going to use this to train our brains to scan our emails quickly because we do pick up images or in this case, colored labels much faster than we do text. So let's use that to our advantage. So if you have a label for emails, let's say from your manager and you color it green and then you apply a filter, you'll catch those emails within seconds of logging in. Your eyes will go straight to those emails. As we've talked about before, saving a few seconds of your time can add up to minutes and hours across those different days and weeks, not to mention the reduction of stress and the increase in productivity that this can create, especially for those of you that are getting 50 or hundreds of emails a day. Okay. So before we move on to filters, let's go in and open up one of our emails. Beside the email subject will be the labels. If you need to apply a label, you can use the label icon along the top. Notice that you can select multiple labels and from this window, you also have the button to create new labels or to go manage your labels in the Gmail settings. Awesome. So make sure you've got your labels set up and then meet me over in the next lesson where we combine this with filters. And later on, we're also going to use our labels to enhance our ability to search. See you there. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. 
And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.